The night of Todd's accident, that would be Saturday the 13th of November. There was a knock at the door and it was a policeman telling us that Todd had had an accident just round the corner. They weren't sure whether he would survive, but for the time being, they were going to put him into an induced coma. Most of the impact from his accident was his face and head. I, I don't really think even then we realised the severity of it. Brain injury is really not something you know anything about. You just assume that sooner or later he's going to get better. It's uh, nothing like that, unfortunately. I'm thinking, well, what if I do something wrong or if I'm not watching and he wanders off somewhere because his memory span is about five minutes. Balancing work, home, Todd is at times very overwhelming. I really don't know what we do without our carers. They are marvellous, they really are. They're the lifeblood, you know, they're, they're the ones holding it all together. They just ask him what he'd like to do during the day and, and that's what they do. Lifetime care and support is a wonderful, wonderful scheme. They've organised all of Todd's care. They take care of all his medication, anything accident related, everything that he needs. I look at the progress Todd has made over the last seven years, like it's amazing that, uh, you yeah, know, he could have stayed in a vegetative state, but I think he amazed everybody. Yeah, he truly has come so far. If you had seen him in intensive care as he was for two months, and you look at him now, and you think, you know, that the will to live is great.